Hi everyone, Alan Shemo from DevOps.com's DevOps TV here at IBM Interconnect 2017. We are in day three of Interconnect and here on the uh, show floor in our little DevOps TV uh, command center. And I'm happy to be joined by my friend Chris Lazaro. Chris, welcome. Hi. And of course, Chris is one of the uh, key people behind the IBM Bluemix Garage method. Right. And Chris, I forget, distinguished engineer. I'm the uh, an STSM, so lead architect for the garage method. Exactly. And Chris, you know, one of the reasons we brought you up here is is back in uh, December, I guess it was. We we had done well. It started the process started last August of our DevOps dozen top right. top DevOps uh, solutions and personalities and leaders and. You know, the IBM Bluemix Garage Method uh, won the award, I believe, for uh, most innovative DevOps solution for the year. And and just to give the audience a little background, right, there was an open nominations process with open voting. Top winners or top nominees in each category were then put into the finals. And then there was an open voting on finals. Uh, so and open voting, I mean, there was safeguards put in on IP addresses and so you couldn't stuff ballot boxes. But it was this was voted on by, by the public, not by us or by judges or anything. The public were the judges. And you know, the IBM Blue Mix Garage Method won, won this award. And I wanted to present it to you, Chris, as uh, oh, one wow. of the developer leads <laughs> of this neat little award um, for most innovative DevOps solution of the year. I'm reading that backwards. And it's presented to IBM for Blue Mix Garage Method. So, Chris, hopefully you have a nice place on your mantle to put that somewhere. All right. Thanks, Alan. Um, yeah. yeah, we were all really excited to win that award. And kind of the goal there is bringing together uh, design thinking, lean, agile, and DevOps, and showing teams how to leverage those practices as part of their digital transformation. Excellent. So, so Chris, you know, last year we, we saw kind of the – Maybe it was the year before, a year and a half ago, we saw the launch of IBM Bluemix Garage, and then we saw the method. And I, as we were talking off camera, I spent about an hour and change in the uh, Bluemix Garage uh, area of, of the exhibit floor here at Interconnect. And what I was surprised, not surprised, I was, I was happy to see the, continue ev the continued evolution, the continued evolution of this story, where, where we're starting to incorporate now beyond that you know, it really started with, here was IBM's own experience in in, uh, in scaling, you're trying to do DevOps, like a startup scaling to the enterprise, all that kind of thing. And then, you know, we learned some in talking to our customers. But now it's starting to touch on different areas. Why don't you share with our audience a little bit about where it's kind of expanded right. to? So a lot of our customers are wanting to transform and go through a digital transformation and change the way they're building applications. So they're coming at that from different angles. They're looking at the practices, and that's the, the core practices in the garage method around mm -hmm. incorporating design thinking, learning from your users. Um, but they're also looking at what tools do they need to help enforce and enable those practices. So we've taken this concept of tool chains, which are a set of integrated tools that align with the practices and by using those tools, you're kind of um, enabled and uh, to follow the best practices just through your day-to-day -day operation. Um, so bringing in tool chains, showing that alignment with the practices is one of the keys. Um, but at the end of the day, you're actually building an application. And a lot of that digital transformation driver is wanting to see how to adopt new technologies as part of your, your, cl your cloud adoption. And companies see things like cognitive uh, and IoT and uh, mobile, and they want to learn what's the best way to build a new cognitive app. Because there's not many developers out there who know how to scale an enterprise level uh, cognitive application. So the other thing we're doing in the garage method is pulling in the cloud architecture center and showing how to, not just the practices, not just the tools, but what are the reference architectures in that learning path to build that cognitive app? Um, yep. so, so not just the how, but also the what. Excellent, excellent. So Chris, um, I'll also add that that was probably one of the most crowded areas on the floor here, where it was Blue Mix Garage. And you know, one of the things, 
they're expanding the the garages now, adding more cities and right. so forth. What are you seeing in, in terms of customer feedback? What what kind of what are you hearing? What are you seeing from these customers who are are doing that? Are you know use, utilizing this? Right. Uh, it, it really comes down to expertise and wanting guidance because. Again, with cognitive and these new technologies, it's hard to find people that have experience building these at enterprise scale. Yep. But at IBM, we're doing this every day. We know the reference architectures. Uh, we know the best practices. We know the tools that will work well together. So customers can go to a garage and have a very fast um, getting up to speed and kind of bootstrapping this transformation. And then they can take what they learned and build upon it and use the garage method site as a, a, a follow-on in order to, to take that MVP that they built in the garage and extend it out to the rest of their enterprise. Absolutely. One more question for you, Chris. I, I had an interesting conversation with someone today who was a DevOps consultant and they said, you know, my biggest competitor aren't other consultants. My biggest competitor are people who come to a show like this an executive comes to an interconnect, goes back home and says, boys, we're going to do DevOps, right? Right, And they're going to do it internally, maybe from what they heard at a panel or something or a keynote. And and they don't want to bring in that expertise. They're going to in-house it because if it wasn't built here, it's not good enough, right? And we mm -hmm. know who knows our business better than us. But then what happens is along the way, even if it's somewhat successful, it takes longer, costs more, and, and has more heartburn associated with it than if you would go to, you know, help bring, bring in a consultant, bring in an IBM. And if you don't want to use IBM, I'm not here to, I'm, no, I'm not an IBM show. Bring in someone, though, who's done it before right. and, and can maybe help you avoid paying some idiot tax, right? And I, I think that is, you know, as DevOps continues to mature and we see more and more companies undergoing this transformation, I think that has to be one of the key lessons that they should learn. Right. I mean, the, the good news in that scenario is that you do have the executive support and culture change is one of the keys in a, a DevOps transformation. But the, the different practices really do fit in together specifically in order to have that fastest rate of uh, idea to production. To production. Yeah. And you want to learn what is the best way to reduce those barriers and make sure you're building the right application. And that's where some of that expertise uh, of having been through a number of DevOps transformations and knowing where the challenges exist really help. Um, sure. Absolutely. Well, Chris, we're going to let you go as we wrap up day three here at uh, Interconnect. Congratulations on the award again. Keep up the great work, and we'll be speaking to you soon. Thanks, Alan. All right. Hey, Chris Lazaro from IBM's Blue Mix Garage team. This is Alan Schimmel for DevOps.com's DevOps TV at Interconnect 2017.